Welcome to Red Bow, a very short indie game. I think it's about an hour long. There isn't too much information about it other than the main character is in a nightmare with eerie creatures. That is literally all I know, so I think this could be an interesting one for sure. I think it's a pixel game and it looks like it may be of Japanese origin, maybe, I don't know, I can see a katagana or hiragana, I don't know, I get muddled up with all of the like kanji and stuff like that. <laughs> I am not well versed on Japanese writing styles, so I don't know what that is, but it definitely looks Japanese to me, so I'm sure there's some Japanese origin somewhere, it, whether that's in the game or if it's just that it was a Japanese creator, I do not know, but I am intrigued at the same time. Tutorial, use the arrow keys WASD to move. Very simple, straightforward, all right, I can do that. We unfortunately do not have controller support. I did try using my PS4 controller, but it doesn't look like it has support. So I'll try and be as quiet as I can with the keyboard because my microphone does pick that up sometimes. All right, use the enter key for interactions. Okay, easy. Use the escape key to access menu and inventory. Okay, we actually have an inventory. Interesting. So we're called Ro. Okay, she's sleeping. All right, wake up. Time to get up. I like her room. It's very cute that dream the sound effects are adorable too <laughs> was it a dream who knows who knows what it was girl I have no clue all right so we start in our room of course we have nice little bows in our hair that's probably why it's called red bow I don't know she's got a really cute pink carpet and I love the little heart thing next to her bed too a little poster there's nothing in here so you can literally interact with stuff in this game which I really like I like how you can actually click on stuff and just hear the thoughts of our character there's nothing here right now it feels like an RPG it really does but I think it's supposed to be a horror game so I'm not quite sure what they're going for here but let's keep exploring I think there's only a couple of things I can actually click on there's only like one or two things in that room unfortunately but still it's cool that we have the option because you don't always get that option in these kind of games okay a bookshelf it's a dusty old bookshelf it feels so retro too I love the retro like noise the text noise that it makes hey what is that a key I wonder what it's for. There's nothing else here. We found a key. Nice. So this is our menu. Oh wow, that's very simple. <laughs> okay, let's save the game. I think that would be a cool idea. All right, oops, I didn't mean to click that. So what else do we have? We have our backpack and inside we have a pendant which glows, which is awesome. I like that. We have a door key. It's the key to the front door, very self-explanatory, very nice. And we also have settings. We have sound, music, text, and that's literally it. Okay, very simple and easy to understand, so that's cool. Okay, the fridge is empty, typical. Oh man, you need to do some shopping. Actually, I need to too. I need to do some grocery shopping too. All the dishes are done, way, that's good. It's probably cleaner than my sink, to be honest. And my hands are pretty clean. Awesome. You gotta make sure your hands are clean during the coronavirus, right? We have a back door. Can we go through? It's pretty dark outside. It's a good thing this door's locked. Right, yeah, it's not good to go outside in the spooky darkness, right? I try to avoid it myself. <laughs> All right, television. What's on TV? Yes, what's on, girl? Anything good? Nothing? Oh, that's such a shame. All right, let's go out this door. I can use the key I found to unlock it. Way, that's good. Oh, do I have to like click on it and then like go on the door like a proper RPG? Should I really leave? What if this isn't a dream? Am I even alive? You're asking the important questions now. I don't know. Come on, Ro, snap out of it. Be brave. You can do this, girl. You got this. I was expecting to see something. Instead, I saw nothing. Nothing but the darkness. But I stepped forward. What does this mean? I don't know. Then everything became clear. It did. Okay, okay, this looks even spookier. What, where am I? I don't know, but it doesn't look friendly. 
I don't like this area. Where's my house? It just disappeared. <laughs> this must be a dream. Surely. Then how do I wake up? Have you tried pinching yourself? I mean, <laughs> that's like one of the most obvious things to do, right? <laughs> what was that in the corner? I think that was like a steam overlay that like messed up in the bottom right there. So I'm sorry. I only just noticed it. <laughs> Hopefully it's gone now. And if you couldn't see it, then even better. But I think it was on the actual video too. But that's okay. All right let's look around see what we can find so it's like an invisible wall so you can only like stick to the pathway it seems but that's fair enough let's go it reminds me of silent hill a little bit i've actually not actually played silent hill but i've seen bits from it and they have lots of fog and stuff like that so it definitely reminds me of that what's that oh i'm not the only one here really is that a good thing i don't know um excuse me can you help me? Is that a person? I don't know what it is. Ex excuse me? Uh, this might not be good. What is that? What on earth is that? Uh, oh, lovely. A weird head. I can help you. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> That would be my reaction too. Oh my god, that's creepy. I don't think you are, little girl. <laughs> I see that you're lost. Why do they have such a long neck? Oh, I'm not lost. I just can't seem to find where my front door went. <laughs> this dialogue. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be funny, but I'm finding it amusing. Do not be afraid, little girl. I bring you no harm. I have candy. <laughs> Unless you bring it to me. I don't plan on hurting you. You're way too creepy. Exactly. For once, the main character actually can see that they're creepy. What are you anyway? I am known as Kubi. What's that? I watch out over the void of the road. That sounds really, really boring. Can you imagine just watching a road for all eternity? I wait for nothing, nor am I waiting for someone, okay? I feed off the souls lost in the void. So you really are creepy, okay. What, what are you going to do with my soul? As I said, little girl, I can help you. I don't know, you just said that you feed off souls and now you're saying you can help us. I don't know if I trust this thing, I don't know. Uh, okay, how would you help me? I can help you leave this place by sucking out your soul through your eyeballs. <laughs> if you can help me. Oh god, you need my help? I don't like where this is going. Yes, we are not alone. There is another. She lives off the road. She wishes to get rid of me. But why? Because I'm not like her. I am seen as a monster in her eyes. She has a point, you know. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> At least she agreed, so that's good. But so do you. What is your point on this view? Uh, I don't know. Then the time for judgment can wait until you're sure. Say what? What's going on? What are you searching for? A question no one has ever asked me before. Hmm, what? I'm making new friends. I got a little Steam achievement thing pop up, so that is awesome. Yeah, I think the Steam achievement in the corner is going like all weird when it's popping out for some strange reason. It should be okay. So, anyway, where do I go? How do I find this other person that's the question i can't do anything with it you can't do anything with the debris okay can i talk to her again will she say anything i don't think she does all right so we just gotta keep exploring right see if we can find this other traveler oh there's a way over here that we can go let's go through the path let's see what we have notices it's a bunch of notices all right they all say the same thing well that sucks go away beast I'm guessing that's the other traveler, right? She does not seem to like that creepy thing. I can't say I blame her though, honestly. She was freaky. All right, there's nothing interesting in here. What the heck? Bones? Probably from a small animal. At least you hope so, right? 
But what if it's not? What if it is human? Who knows what it is at this point? All right, a door is locked. There's a note on the door. Leave me alone. Well, we don't have very friendly people in this neighborhood. I can see a shadow swinging back and forth. Okay, that's disturbing. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking around. Is there really like nothing in here? All right, interesting. All right, do I have any items to help me? We have a pendant and that's literally it, which I don't think that that's gonna help us, honestly. Hmm, what to do though, because I'm not sure. Oh, I just tried to leave. Wait, what's going on? What was that noise? There was a noise. Did that door just unlock itself? Should, should I check it out? Uh, I don't think you should, but I'm going to make you anyway. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh god, there was something rocking backing and forth when we looked through the window. So, yeah, this is... Oh god, they hung themselves. Lovely. Okay, why? Huh? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what a response. She's dead! Yes, I, I think she might be at this point, yeah. She looks a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? Wait, what? She's talking? Get out! Now! You're still alive? B but how? How did you get in my house? Your door's unlocked. Is she, like, immortal or something? Answer me! The... The door unlocked itself. I'm sorry for intruding. <laughs> you just walk in, see someone hanging themselves and go, Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong house. <laughs> Do you honestly think I would believe that? A door unlocking itself? I bet it was that damn creature that did it. A creature? You mean Kubi? I can't believe that thing has a name. What do you want anyway? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that thing. What about it? The vile monster. I spelt vile wrong. It's V-I-L-E. That's the wrong kind of vile. That's a, like a test tube vile, right? <laughs> Although the English language can be very confusing. Why do you hate it so much? Because look at it. It's monstrous. Disgusting. But it seems to be peaceful. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> so who cares, right? <laughs> it lies. It tells nothing but lies. Why? Why does it lie? Oh, do you know where we are? No. <laughs> we are in a place between life and death. Oh, so we're in limbo. A purgatory for people like me. For people like you? She's so clueless. I am too. A place where souls are lost and found. Found by that thing outside to eat them. Then why are you here? Huh? Why are you here? I asked first. Yeah, like, why haven't you been eaten already? Oh, fine. I'm here because of my daughter. Your daughter? My daughter's soul is lost and I was trying to find it. Hey, that's probably me, isn't it? But now I'm stuck in here. I can help you down. There's no point. Not with that thing outside. I'll tell you what. If you can get rid of it, I'll come down. I'll find us a way out of this place. How can I trust you? Just look at me. I'm human, just like you. Are you, like, you look like you're trying to kill yourself and humans usually die when they hang themselves. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> Please help me. I need time to think. I'll be back. You just stay hanging over there. You'll be fine. <laughs> By the way, my name's Akira. I'm Ro. Please help me, Ro. Okay, that was, um... A very strange conversation, for sure. I almost find the dialogue almost comical. I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but I definitely um, have had a few giggles with the dialogue here. It's just like a little bit awkward in some places. I don't know. It's kind of amusing me though, so I, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, let's look around. The sink. It's a sink! I can't turn the water on though. It must be broken. Oh, well, that sucks. Another sink, eh? Is there been like loads of sinks or something? I don't know. That's what my steam achievement was called and I was 
wondering if there was a meaning to that. Maybe it's a reference of some kind. I have no idea. All right, so we're going to head outside and, I don't know, most likely go and talk to that monster again because clearly we need to get that monster to leave, right? So that we can leave, so that that lady will come down and help us out. So let's see if they will talk to us. Ah, it, excuse me, Mr. QB. Are, are you okay over there, you crazy monster? All right, here they come, gonna come talk to us. You're back, little girl. I assume you spoke to Akira. I did. She doesn't seem to like you very much. <laughs> She's so honest. <laughs> wow. I can be likable, and then I cannot. <laughs> what? It all depends on one's perspective. I guess that's true. Just a bit of a weird way to word it, but okay. I think there is more to you than meets the eye. You're not telling me everything, are you? You are right, Ro. So you do know my name, yes? I know the names of everyone, everything. That'd be a lot to remember, but only what needs to be known. What do you mean? I see it all, drifting through the road. I see the lost souls, screaming for an answer. Do you see Daisy's soul? Who's Daisy? I have no idea. I do not. Why? Because it is not her that is lost, but Akira. Her daughter was too young to not understand death. Oh, I see. I thought her daughter was Redbow or something. Her soul moved on. I thought her daughter was like the main character. Akira was foolish. So Akira took her own life. Yes. It is a common mistake. Why was it a mistake? We do not choose the times we let go. Life will choose for us. If we break this rule, we end up here, on the road. So they're saying suicide is bad. Well, I, I at least agree with that message. <laughs> it definitely is. It symbolizes an unfinished journey. Hmm. Yeah, that does suck. I mean, I think it depends on like the circumstances though, because if you've been kidnapped and are being tortured, then like I can understand wanting to end your journey, but it's a difficult one. It's a very difficult one. Because life truly is precious, but sometimes you can definitely be dealt a bad card. So I can kind of understand why people do do it. She is searching for something that is not here. She's gonna be looking for a while then. Is there a way for her to leave this place? Yes. How? I must tell her. She must accept what has happened. She must move on. So are we like going to kind of help her do that? That's impossible. She lost her child. Then her soul will be stuck here forever. There must be another way. Oh my gosh. Well, this is going to be one hell of a journey, right? There is. But I'm sure you will never find it. I must. Then ask me a question. A question that I have never been asked before. Okay, I will release her soul from the road. A question she's never been asked before, but just remember this. If she does not accept what has happened, did you really save her? Oh, interesting. Sounds like a riddle. Once you have made your choice, place an item on the debris next to me. This will be your answer. Okay, what about my pendant? Can I put my pendant on there? I have no idea. I think this game actually has like multiple um, options. Very well. I would say it was a pleasure meeting you, Ro, but nothing here is pleasurable. Farewell, Ro. Why, what did I do? What? Self-sacrifice? Did I kill myself? What happened? I don't even know. What a weird dream. So it basically just put me back at the start? The road. That creature. I'm just glad I'm finally awake. I bet we'll just like go back there, won't we? <laughs> Is there anything like different about my house now that I'm like back in the same kind of area? I'm curious. There's nothing here. I don't know if I was supposed to put my necklace on there, but it was like the only item I actually had on me. I don't know. We'll see. There's nothing else here. There's no key this time. 
Right? I don't think I have a key. No. Interesting. The dishes are all done. That's good. Same thing as last time. Oh, the, the back door's open this time. Where am I now? A shop. Wait, you have a shop in your back garden? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I want to shop in my back garden. That'd be so convenient. It looks like somebody's home. But where is my home? What? Why? Why am I here? Looks like you've you've gone back to square one. You're basically just at the same kind of area again, it seems. I don't know if you're lucky or unlucky. <laughs> Let's keep looking around. Magazine rack. These look so old. I've never even heard of these magazines. Am I pretty? What kind of magazine name is that? Oh, interesting. So it's really far back then. I see. I wish that my overlays would stop glitching out because every time a steam achievement comes out it like bugs out like in the corner it goes all weird so like I'm trying to fix it it's so so frustrating when that happens all right fireworks oh cool some fireworks I'll take some of the firecrackers the neighbor's kid used to scare his dog away with these the stupid kid the dog didn't sleep for a week Poor little guy. Why would you do this? There's a little kitty cat up here, actually. What's this? Uh, manhole. Can I go down there? It must lead to the sewer system. Right, let's, like, open it or something. We've got a power box. All right, strange. There's a cable running to the sewer over there. That is a bit odd. Maybe it's powering what's down there. I better not tamper with it. So that means you want me to tamper with it, right? Put some fireworks in there. No, I can't. Okay, maybe put some fireworks down the manhole. I don't think that will work. All right, well, it was worth a try. Can I, like, go into the shop where the little cat is or something? Oh, wait, there's a door, like, back here, right? Can I go inside? Yeah. Let's see. H hello? Is there anyone here? Oh gosh, it's kind of creepy. They must be upstairs. It's really quiet in here. Oh, a telephone. Should we go answer it? I feel like we should. Huh? The phone? Yeah, go answer it. You just walk into a random shop and answer their phone. Seems completely normal. Hello? Oh my gosh. Hello? Oh god, there's heavy breathing. Is there someone there? Oh god, it's creepy. Am I pretty? <laughs> Who is this? And they hung up. Oh gosh, who was that? Oh well, I better keep searching this place. And she just acts like there's just nothing wrong there at all. <laughs> okay, so like some weird person is calling from from the magazines. How very odd. All right, let's keep looking around to see what we can find here. So on the shelf, is there some good food or something? I don't need anything here just yet. Okay, but they have Coke. Get some Coca-Cola. Everybody always needs some Coca-Cola in their life, right? What's that shiny thing? There's nothing useful here. Wait a second. There's something shimmering up there. But I can't reach it. Of course you can't. You are tiny. But yes, that does look interesting. Hopefully we can find something. I don't need to rest. I need to find a way home. Okay, let's do that. Let's go upstairs and see if there's anyone up here. Kind of like a bit nervous about what we are going to find because we are clearly still in this purgatory place. It's locked. Okay, let's keep looking around photo frames. It's a bunch of photos. There's a pale woman with her boyfriend in all of them. Only someone's drawn a big smile over the boyfriend's face. Okay, that's a little bit creepy. I wonder if this is the the little the little girl. I like wonder if she lived here or something. I am curious. Or maybe this was the Kubi's like house or something. Maybe we'll find some info about her. That would be cool. All right, should we sleep in the bed? It's an old dirty bed. Who lives here? I have no clue. Got a stove over here. There's a pot on the stove. Now I just need to something to cook it, cook in it. So boy, am I hungry. There was loads of stuff downstairs and you said you didn't want it. <laughs> At least the water runs in the sink. Anything in the fridge? Nope, nothing in the fridge. Oh god, what's that over there? Oh god, there's something weird in the bathroom. Television, it's not turning on? Maybe it's broken. Well, at least the light is on. So, there is power. Alright, that's good, right? That's good. 
Okay, that door's locked though. I think we need to find a way in there with that creepy person. <laughs> let's see. Hmm, how am I going to get in there? That's the question. All right, let's go back to the hall. Maybe it'll like unlock itself or something. Can I go in there? It's definitely locked. Okay, so we need to look around. I don't think I even have any items though. Anything I've got are firecrackers. This seems like a bad idea, but oh well. <laughs> I'm putting firecrackers on the stove. Why? I don't know. Now I just need something to light the stove. Seems like the igniter's broken. It does. So, oh my, wow. I didn't even think that would work. I was just trying random stuff to see what would work. I need something to light this stove, but I have no idea what we can even do. A window? Well, hello there, Mr. Kitty. I can see you through the window. He probably can't hear me. Hey, that looks like a key in his paw, but how would I get him to drop it? Oh, so there's a cat outside as well. Interesting. And he has a key. I have no idea how we're going to get that, but I'm sure there is a way, right? Hopefully. Okay, let's keep looking around. I feel like I've missed something somewhere. There was a shiny object above the shelf as well. So perhaps there is a way to get to get that. Wait, was this stepladder always here? Because I literally do not remember seeing this. But okay, let's use it. This thing's gonna be useful for sure. Now we can get the shiny thing, whatever that is. Let's see if I can use this to reach it. Yes. What is this? A lighter? It could be useful, I guess. Oh, nice. Let's test this out and see what happens. I am very, very curious. We're finally gonna hopefully turn the lights on next door as well. See what that creepy thing is over there. So let's do this. So items, lighter, let's go. Here we go. This should wake up Mr. Kitty. Oh, so this will give us the key to the door. I better stand back. All right, here we go. He's gonna blow. He's gonna blow the kitty up as well. Oh my god. It looks like Mr. Kitty ran away. Sorry, Mr. Kitty. Let's see if he dropped the key. Did he? Have I got it? Let's check it out. Happy 4th of the oh, 4th of July was the achievement. I like that. I haven't got anything at the moment. Sorry, Mr. Kitty. I think maybe I've got to go outside. That's probably what I have to do. So let me check to see if we can, if we can now find anything outside that would be awesome ah here we go there it is thank you mr kitty now i wonder what this unlocks i know what it unlocks but i'm scared to unlock it <laughs> i'm nervous all right let's do this let's see what happens in the storage room we go it's locked yes but we have the key dun 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 here goes nothing oh my gosh Let's go in and see what this creepy thing is. What the? What is that? I have no idea. Is it just a person? Who are you? I am Mini Q. What? Do you think I'm pretty? I can't even see you. Why are you hiding in the shadows? Because I live in them. It is easier to hide than be seen. Thus, I make the darkness my home. Then how can I tell if you're pretty? Well, maybe she's pretty on the inside. Then I will show myself. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, it's not that bad. Wait, is that meant to be scary? That's not scary. This is what I look like. Am I pretty? What is that around your mouth? Isn't it a face mask? It's a red bow. Oh, okay. To conceal my forever lasting smile. Oh God. How could anyone be happy at living in a place like this? It's so dark and damp. You didn't answer my question. Am I pretty? Well, I think you are. Okay, is that good? Do I live? Ah! Huh? What's going on? Who was that? Someone that helps me remember. Remember what? I'm so confused. To remember to smile. Please forgive me, little one. Oh God, what's happening? Who was that screaming? I have no idea, but I'm going to end it here for now. 
I do like this game so far, but I think that the dialogue definitely needs to be worked on. <laughs> but I think this game's kind of old now. I think it came out in like January 2020, something like that. So it's a fair bit old at this point. So they're most likely not going to update it at this point. I think they're actually working on a new game, actually. So... I doubt that, but it's a cool little game just to spend a bit of time with. I like the spooky setting and everything, and I'm curious to see what will happen next. So I'm going to stop the episode here for now, but I hope you enjoyed. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. It's only $1 a month to gain access, and I'm currently uploading exclusive anime review videos only on Patreon. Thank you for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time.